Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. If you are in the NLP space, natural language processing space, you might have already known how easy it is to do NLP these days with Hugging Face library. So Hugging Face has got a bunch of libraries and then they let you do a lot of things that used to be very difficult in a very easy manner. So they've got the transformers library with which you can build pipeline. They've got the model hub. They've got the inference API. They've got a lot of things. But what I'm going to show you in this video is something that you might not have seen at all unless you watch the latest video from Hugging Face, which is an inspiration for my video. So if you just want a very short video, no explanation at all, just go watch the Hugging Face video, which I'll link in the YouTube description as well. But if you want a little bit of explanation, what we are going to do. So continue. Zero shot classification is a way for you to classify text based on a pre-trained model into a bunch of categories, a candidate lab labels without having your own training data. Let us say that I have my training data. I don't have my training data, but I have text like this. I want to classify them. I want to categorize them into a bunch of categories, predefined categories like this travel, cooking, dancing. And then I want to say, okay, this text goes to category. This, uh, sorry, this category, this text goes to cooking. So based on this, I want to do this. I don't have, uh, I don't have free trained, sorry. I don't have training text. I don't have time to train a model. I don't have any of these things. I just simply want to do classification. I can use zero shot classification from hugging face. So they've got, uh, they've got, uh, they've got a way for us to do this thing. So the model that we are going to use here is, uh, the Bart large MNLI model. So you can see how to build the pipeline for zero shot classification. And just by giving the text and candidate labels, you know how to do classification all in Python, of course, right? So you know how to do this in Python. You have a Google Colab notebook, you might do it. But what I'm going to show you is you can do the exact same thing. State of the art, natural language processing, especially zero shot classification on a Google spreadsheet. Have you even dreamt of it? No, I've never dreamt of it. On a Google spreadsheet, you can do natural language processing using Hugging Face Inference API. And that's what exactly what we're going to discuss in this video. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. To give you an example, let's say this, uh, I've got, I've got this text, right? So I'm going to show you what we are going to build and then slowly we are going to build step by step. So the first thing is, let's see a quick demo. So I've got this text and uh, you can see that I've used a function called analyze and then I've got this. Let us imagine that I have a new text. I have a new text. Um, I want to say, I love um, Bharat, uh, Bharat uh, Natyam. It's a, it's a, it's an, it's an Indian dance and Kathak. Okay. So this is an Indian dance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask hugging face inference API to predict what category it belongs to using these three. I do not expect it to give me right answer because of course I don't know if the pre-trained model had Indian dances, but let's try is equal to analyze is the function that we are going to use. And this is the text I wanted to be classified. And these are my candidate labels. The moment I press enter, it's going to load and try to find out what category. And before I finish the sentence, you already have the answer with you, which is dancing. Of course, right? Let me try one more thing. Um, I have uh, been not able to, I don't know what English sentence I've, I've not, I love um, visiting, visiting new places and I want to visit Maldives. Okay. Maldives. And again, I'm going to say analyze, analyze this text and tell me which category it belongs to. And then I'm, it's loading. And then probably it says the right answer, which is traveling. And now imagine like I want, Oh, if I give red, what if you think it's, it's wrong answer. Okay. Maybe. So now let, let, let's imagine like I want to build, I want to build, um, I, I want to build um, sentiment analysis. Okay. So what do I do now? I can go here and say, um, change this candidate labels. Of course, um, I want, let's, let me add a negative sentence in the first place. I'm going to copy these candidate labels, paste it here. I'm going to say positive and negative. Okay. These are my two classes. And I'm going to add a new sentence. What is the sentence that I want to add? So I've been pretty disappointed with the new iPhone 13. Okay. And I'm going to say analyze, analyze this with the candidate labels this, and then I'm going to show you what does it say? It says it's a negative sentiment. 
good of course i've been, I've been slightly disappointed with the new iphone given given the price that they collect and the features that they give i don't i don't understand so maybe maybe that's a different video altogether so ultimately what you have seen here is we have got a state of the art zero shot classification model using hugging face you can use to classify normal normal categories or you can use the same thing to do positive or negative sentiment analysis everything on a google spreadsheet you don't have to go leave google spreadsheet how does it happen how is it possible you have a lot of questions i'm going to show you one by one step by step how to do that so the first thing is what you need is you need an account on hugging face and you need to get the api token for their inference api so if you have not done it go to huggingface.com dot co sorry dot co not dot com and then register register yourself like get an account for yourself once you get your account you can click this click this profile and then click api usage click profile or you can click profile or like whatever you would like to do click here and um, click your api usage profile details api details okay so th that's the first step you need to have an account you need to have an account and it, it shows like uh, my api usage so far so we have we have 30000 characters per month for free to use thank thanks to hugging face who are definitely not sponsoring this video i'm just making it out of love and application so totally i've already used 339 characters but i have the option to use the 30000 characters in a month month using hugging face inference api now once you are done with that um, the hugging face team has very kindly put together a script an app script that you can use with google sheet and we are going to copy the script from here copy the script from here okay copy it and i'm going to open a new spreadsheet okay so sheets dot new let's open a new spreadsheet okay the spreadsheet was opened now i'm going to go to my tools and i'm going to open the script editor i'm going to go to the tools i'm going to open the script editor um, maybe as a nice um, option, I'm going to say um, zero short classification using. Should I should I just put the emoticon? I think that that's. Or I should say NLP zero short. Yeah, that's good. Go to tools, click script editor. So at this point, a script editor is going to open. Um, I don't know whether you know, but at this point, you should have already signed into your Google account. That's how you can. You can even open a Google spreadsheet. That's that's that goes without saying. This is the old editor. You can use a new editor. It's up to you. After I paste this thing, give give a project title here as well. Zero short classification with hugging face. Okay. So now this is done. What I have to do next is I have to copy my token and then paste it here. Please do not share your token with anybody. That's that goes without saying. So like I said, please do not share your token with anybody. I'm going to copy the token and paste it here. But I'm going to refresh the token after this video, but you should not do this. You should not share your token with anybody. So this is a simple JavaScript that is going to create that function that we wanted. If you take a quick look at this JavaScript, what it says is like we are creating a function called analyze. We are going to get input label, input text. We are going to have the labels, candidate labels, and we are going to have the repository, the model that we are going to use. And this is the endpoint that we are going to hit. If you're not familiar with the API, just imagine that this is like this is like the door that you're going to enter in to just get this information from a hugging face and so on. So, so like what type of um, API request that you are going to make and what are you going to fetch? And then it's going to return the most probable class or most probable target variable class uh, of the list of labels, candidate labels that you give. Now that I've quickly given you an overview of what this function JavaScript function is doing. I'm going to show you how to get your API token as well. So go to your hugging face profile and click API usage. Once you click API usage, you would get something like this and you have to click this um, and then click API token and then copy the token and then come back here and then paste it. Paste it. Once you paste it, your API token is pasted successfully. It is there. So the next step that you have to do is save the script, save the script. Once you save the script, you can you can actually you know like at this point you have successfully saved the script now go back to your google sheet go back to your google sheet i don't think you have to refresh but just because you know we love refreshing our browser so let's refresh it now i'm going to quickly try using the function analyze and i'm going to say something something and i'm going to say uh, let's say pause neg and then i'm going to close it 
and it says it's loading so which means the text it it works right so I, i've just deleted it now i'm going to make nicely formatted okay input input text categories and i'm going to say candidate labels and do you want to highlight it you don't want to highlight it up to you but just to just to make it look good i'm going to do this what are my candidate labels so the candidate labels that i want let's say i'm going to talk about politics sports technology okay so three categories i've got i'm, I'm going to add some text what are the text i'm going to add um i don't know why people are so obsessed with political parties as if they are family okay um political parties okay so we have got our first text in place and i'm going to show you how you can actually write a code and then get everything so the second second thing that i want to do is i want to say i love um apple ipad and uh, how yeah i love apple ipad i think that's that's fine apple ipad should be technology right um last time when there was a match between india and england virat kohli scored century this is specifically related to cricket but let's see now that we have got our text in place now we need to get the now we need to get the let me zoom it out a little bit now we need to get the categories okay so i'm going to say analyze um just make sure that you use z because in the function we have used z that's why we are using z if you are somebody who uses s use s there in the function as well so analyze my text come out this and i'm going to lock this if you know you have to press f oops you have to press f4 and then you get it locked and after you do this you can just scroll it down and then let's see politics technology sports amazing now if you have anything new let's say um, um ipl is going to start in dubai in a week okay let me see whether it can whether it figures out its sports or see what yeah uh sports good so if you want to do sentiment classification again sentiment just positive comma negative um i'm going to say tenant is such an amazing movie and and christopher nolan is very intelligent <laughs> i don't know what am i even writing and instead of this i can just say analyze of the text and oops and the candidate labels it should be a positive sentiment right yes it's a positive what if i say tenet is such a such a confusing movie let's see is it negative cool so kind of yeah it captures what what i meant and you can see that we have just implemented state of the art nlp zero shot classification algorithm just on google spreadsheet i mean like what an amazing time to be alive right so basically using hugging face inference api you can implement this completely on google spreadsheet currently i'm using my free tire like if i if i go back um, to my dashboard i can refresh my dashboard and you can see a layer was 33339 now probably i've used couple of more characters it's refreshing you can see 730 so until 30000 characters i can use but if you are going to use it for your organization purpose there are a lot of different plans available on hugging face website you can definitely check it out like i said for you to replicate what i'm currently doing you need an account on hugging face you need a google account of course because you're going to use google spreadsheet and then i'm going to link the script in the youtube description then you have to go to the hugging face profile your hugging face profile and get the api token paste it please do not share the api token with anybody and then well you have got a state of the art like which means like the best one of the best i should say at least nlp zero shot classification even if you do not have training data even if you do not know python just don't bother about anything you can just implement this and then give it to anybody in your team who uses excel and then they can actually do nlp whether it is for preparing new training data or whether it is actually doing text classification or any sort of task that you might be doing on google spreadsheet here you have it if you find this video helpful please let me know in the comment section afforded please subscribe and share it with your friends 
if you have any feedback and suggestions for me please let me know in the comments as well otherwise i hope you will stay safe happy coding